Kennedy Keller is not your typical middle schooler. At the young age of 11, this Lake Orion native is already a published author. Her book is called Allie the Annoying Elephant and it's about an elephant who loves to tell corny jokes, but has a hard time finding friends who will stick around long enough to enjoy her jokes. Allie eventually finds a lasting friendship and true love in a fellow elephant named Hippo. The book caters to children ages 3 to 6 and has an important moral to its tale. You shouldn't change who you really are just for some person that you don't know, like you just met them and they're like, well I don't want to be friends with you if you have blah blah blah, so you shouldn't really change who you are because if you, like if there's no point in doing it, you can find somebody eventually. Kennedy gets her creative genes from her father, who is also a published author, but it wasn't until Kennedy saw her own name in print that she began following her big dream of becoming an author. My dad had put me in the acknowledgments of his book, and I thought I was like super famous. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm in a book, oh my gosh, I want to write a book, dad, let me write a book, dad. And he was just like, yeah, sure, you, you can go write a book. And he was kind of being a little bit sarcastic about that. And I, I went home, and for the next couple of weeks of school, I wrote the book every day in class, and like I didn't have to do my schoolwork, I did my book, and I was like, Dad, I finished it. Okay, now publish it. And he was like, this is actually a book. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, well, what did you think I was going to do? I told you I was going to write a book. The now bubbly preteen began writing Allie the Annoying Elephant at the age of nine. She says inspiration for the characters came from her classmates and friends who are all portrayed in the story. I kind of asked them what they wanted to be, what their name wanted to be, who, like, what their problem was. And so I did that, and my teacher was in the book. She was, like, the best teacher I've ever had. And I named, in the book, she was very tall and skinny, and all she ate was salad. So in the book, I said, I said, Leaf the giraffe is tall, so she can't hear the jokes. And she's tall and she eats leaves, so I named her Leaf. But Kennedy's stint as an author isn't even close to being over. She wants to turn Allie the Annoying Elephant into a series, and she's already working on book two. So right now I'm actually writing out the n newest book. It's going to be about the, um, they're going on their anniversary with their kids into space, and then there's two monkeys in space that kind of hijack their spaceship. The young author has an important message for other children her age looking to follow in her footsteps. You can really do anything you want. It's just the fact of how hard you try. If you don't try hard enough, it's not going to happen. So you just have to really try your best to do it. Anything is possible if you put your mind to it. For more information on Kennedy Keller and her books, log on to www.allytheannoyingelephant.com. In Lake Orion, I'm Katie Shimatero, ON TV News.